Welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you some tips that I wish I knew before learning Octane for Cinema 4D. For the first tip, I want to talk about HDRI. I want to show where exactly you have to put it. So add a new HDRI environment. The first thing you want to do is to add the HDRI here. If you do so, you see that the scene is blown away, and even if we play with the power, it doesn't change anything. Delete the HDRI and put in a new one. The correct location is inside the image texture here, so click on it, and now you can choose the HDRI you like, and you will be able to change the power and the location of your sky. For the second tip, as we're talking about HDRI, I want to talk about how to light environmental scenes. I always use a HDRI and a sunlight. It's important to have both in your scene to bring more details out of it. So first here, if we want to get rid of the default light inside Octane, we go to the Settings, Settings tab, NVM, and change the default environment color to black. Now we don't have any light. First let's add our sunlight, put it wherever you like. Now add your HDRI, choose the one you like. You won't see your sky up here. For that we have to go to our sunlight, daylight tag and check the mixed sky texture box. Play with the power of your HDRI. And now let's match our sun with the sun from the HDRI. This will bring more realism to your scenes. The third tip is a really quick one, but I use it all the time, and I think it is important. You can lock the camera view in Octane while you navigate with your Cinema 4D Live Viewer. Go to Options here, Update Check, and Uncheck Camera. If I jump out of my camera, you will be now able to navigate inside your scene without affecting the Octane viewport. Next tip is the material refresh. Let's say you create your material with an albedo, a roughness and a normal. And the material here on the material manager doesn't update. Sometimes this can be really annoying if you want to quickly find the material you need. All you have to do is to double click on the material here and it will automatically update here. The last tip is about light linking. Let's say you don't want the light to affect our ground here. First we have to add an octane tag to our ground. Right click on it. Extensions tag, C4D octane tags, octane object tag. Go to your Octane Light tag from your light. Select them all and choose a Light Pass ID here. Let's put two. Go back to your Octane tag, Object Layer tab, and enable the Use Light Pass mark here. Now uncheck the number you put on your Light Pass ID, so it'll be two here. Now the light doesn't affect our ground anymore. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.